Okay, we'll start this video again. So we, we, we know we got the, um, we know we look at the trend chart. The trend chart is very important. You want to stay on the side of the trend. Now, the easiest way I have it set up on this left chart, I like the intermediate, uh, the small and the intermediate MA. If they're both crossed, which they're crossed here, I have a larger MA right there also. But moving averages are worthless by nature. They're great for trend direction. So on my trend chart, I have three moving averages in the room. I, I primarily look at two mainly in all markets to get a good sense of direction. After the first cross, I always look for the first retracement being your largest move, which would be that one. But the bottom line is, is that that trend chart uh, has a, a lot of ingredients built into it. It's not a standard Rinko bar. You could put a standard Rinko bar beside it, beside it, and these candles will not match up. When my candles are green, a lot of Rinko bars are red. When my candles are red, a lot of candles are green. The reason being is I build a trend filter built into the Rinko bar. So what it does is it allows me to know when there's supply, more supply or more demand coming in the market. So if there's if the bar is red, there's more dem, there's more supply. If the bar is green, closes green, there's more demand. Now how can we use that to our advantage in trying to catch these retracements in these markets? What I like to do is I like to first look at these the small and intermediate MA. If it crosses down, then I know that the smaller cross down to the intermediate, the white through the magenta right here. Uh, right now it's a small white dash line and here's your white, solid white. But if, if, if I cross down through here, then I know that I'm in a downtrend. So what I want to see happen is I actually want to see these candles print green. If I get a candle that prints green, then I'm educated that, that the counter trend traders are coming in the market. And right when the first candle turns green on both of these setups, these sell setups, when that turns green and this one turns green, it tells you to start getting ready for a sell retracement. So that's called a retracement trade because the candles are green against the trend filter. So you look for a retracement sell setup. And I'm going to show you how you can use limit orders on getting that on just using the larger time frame. Uh, uh, as a guide, meaning the trend chart, and then we can show you how we use market delta over here with an average of around 11 tick stop on 4 sim market delta. With a 4 sim market delta for entry with a big print on market delta, your average stop is going to be 11 ticks. That's what we're averaging pretty much for all the traders in the room that I get feedback from. They're averaging around 11 tick stop. They're risking $110 uh, per trade uh, trying to get in on a retracement trade. Okay, using the four sim entry. All right, so the key is this though, is that you want to let it turn green. If you let it turn green, you know the market's into retracement. That's called a retracement trade. Now, if I put gold over top of crude, this is not a retracement trade now. Look at the difference in trend charts. What we have here is we have two different types of markets. Right now we have a blow off sell off, meaning they're really marking the market down. So this type of market that we're in, and we had arrows that fired here to short and here to short on momentum, this is called a momentum setup. Now what a momentum setup is, is it says, hey, that I know that the market is really weak. So if I know the market's really weak, it's all red, and it's not turning a green bar, then I know that I'm not going to have a retracement trade. I'm going to have a momentum trade. And the easy way to see this is if you have red, here's your, here's your cross between your small and inter, intermediate MA to say we're in a downtrend. There it is right there. So there's your cross down. And here was an arrow up here too. What I want to do then is I want to look at my three sim Fibonacci arrows. I really, really want to trade my Fibonacci arrows with momentum setups. I don't necessarily have to have arrows that fired on my retracement setups. I can use market delta and market profile by itself and just enter a retracement trade and use the trend chart by itself. All the, those three, I, I don't need Fibonacci arrows to fire. It's nice when they fire and it helps you out, but momentum setups, I need a Fibonacci arrow to fire on my small time frame. I got to have it. Because I got to know that we are in a Fibonacci area of resistance 
I mean, the area of, of uh, resistance if I'm going to try to take a momentum trade short. What does that mean? Let me show you what that means when you have all red bars. If I'm printing all red bars on gold right now, see how it just keeps printing red? If I'm printing all red bars, I don't have any green bars at print, that tells me that the market's not going to have a deeper retracement. If I know I'm not going to have a deeper retracement, i got to get into the momentum of the market. So what I want to do is I want to try to see if I can try to sell low and buy lower. What does that mean? What I'm going to do then, if I put gold, the last gold trade beside here, I'll just show you the last two crude trades it's running. If I put gold right here beside it, there's my Fibonacci arrows. Look how beautiful this setup is when you match the trend chart up when it's momentum with the Fib arrows. It is absolutely a match made in heaven. It is really, really effective on all markets on catching some big giant runs. I don't want to trade these arrows if the market's choppy. I don't want to look at these arrows at all. So if I log in and the momentum, if the trend chart is sideways or flat or horizontal, I won't even look at these arrows, don't even care about them. But I know that if I'm all red or if I'm all green, these arrows at print are very, very important because they can catch the swing high all by themselves. So when they print, I can actually enter when the arrow, if I get, especially if I get an indecision bar, which I did, indecision bar is a solid vertical line on our template. That means buyers are equal in the sellers. And then you get an arrow that prints. You can actually enter at the close of this bar if market delta confirms red if you're selling, green if you're buying. Your stop loss can be two ticks above the swing high. All right. And that's with all these trades right across the board all the way down. So you can use you can use the Fibonacci three sim. This is a three sim Rico. See this three sim. That's the only time I want to use this small time frame. I don't want to use it with with range or, or flat markets. I want to use them with momentum setups. All red candles on my trend chart. All green candles on my trend chart. And then you better be playing these arrows. It's very very effective. And very, 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 the accuracy is very uncanny because you're catching a longer time frame where the trend filter is already built into these candles. And then you get a three sim with these arrows to fire in the trade. So that's a difference in setup. This is a momentum setup. You're all red candles. You're below all three MAs, especially the intermediate and the smaller cross down. That's my two most important. So I'm not going to get a deep retracement. So give me a Fibonacci arrow. Confirm with market delta. Let's go to work. All right, so gold just been very productive on momentum setups this morning. All right, now if I look at the difference between retracement and momentum, then is this then? Is that a retracement setup is a deep retracement. It just means you got an opposite color candle that comes in. Don't make it difficult. So if I get an opposite color candle that comes in, I know that I'm looking for a sell setup. The most favorable setups happen after the first small and intermediate MA cross and my first green bar that prints. I can't tell you how many trades you're going to see over and over again. You're going to see thousands and thousands of trades with that small crosses down through that intermediate and then all of a sudden the first counter trend traders that come in, they push it up into resistance. That's a swing high and then she gets drilled. It happens every single week you'll see a trade like that over and over again. So lots of trades like that. So retracement trading is different than momentum trading. And that's how you got to differentiate the two. Now, if I logged in, you can see we're both crossed down on both markets. Crude oil's crossed down and gold's crossed down. If I'm flat, if I log in and the MAs are flat horizontal across the, across the screen, then you just trade market profile, ignore Fibonacci arrows until you break outside of profile again and go back to work. But we're not in that scenario right now. We're retracement selling on crude this morning and we're momentum selling on gold. We're in two types of our setups already this morning. And that's what we have to remember. Now, we can use market profile for guidance, for assistance, to help us out for additional confluence. But those are your two main ways that you want to trade the trend chart. And I'm going to show you how, to, how limit orders actually are very effective on trading the trend chart on limit orders next Thursday on the 18th. I want to make sure the screens are closed down so I don't cover up when you guys are trying to trade the markets. But it's a really effective way that I found that works very well on trying to uh, try to pop in the market 
uh, with the limit order. So as you can tell right now, that crude right now has a runner running. Right there, there's your runner. 15 ticks off, you wanna take 15 ticks off. And now this was a limit order after the close of this bar. That's a one tick greater limit order after the close of that bar. I'm gonna show you how you guys can do that. Um, go all the way up to a couple ticks if you want in the direction of your push. I do not like market orders. Market orders, um, if you sell, if you are doing market delta by itself, you can sell the bid or you can buy the ask or if you're just doing the trend chart with all these markets on trying to catch your only position traders, I'm gonna show you how you can put limit orders in as far as that goes. Um, so we'll be going over that and I actually have a template made up for that and I'll show you how you guys can do that if you wanna trade just off the uh, just off the trend chart being very effective um, off just trading off this larger time frame. So we'll go over that next, uh, next Thursday. So that's what we wanna do momentum or retracement.